Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Iuka, located in Tishomingo County on September 19, 1862. Confederate Commander General Braxton Bragg had a plan that involved the invasion of Kentucky. Under his command, Confederate General Sterling Price's 15,000-man Army of the West was ordered to move on Nashville. At the time, Price and his men were at the town of Iuka, Mississippi. Before they could move towards Nashville, they were attacked by U.S. Major General Edward O.C. Ord and General Rosencrantz. Between them were 17,000 Union troops attacking from two directions, hoping to catch Price in a pincer attack. Unfortunately, Rosencrantz did not move forward speedily and ended up taking the wrong road. This slowed down the attack. Realizing the position he was in, Price began to evacuate the city. General Grant, upon hearing of Rosencrantz's delay, ordered Ord to move within four miles of the town but to wait on Rosencrantz's attack to perform his own attack. From his position outside the town, U.S. General Ord ordered General Price to surrender on September 18th. Price refused, of course, having received word from Confederate General Van Dorn to meet him at Reamsey to attack the Union Army. Price ordered his men to prepare for a march out of Iuka. On the morning of September 19th, Rosencrantz's forward units, commanded by Brigadier General Charles S. Hamilton, ran across the Confederate pickets and a fight ensued. The Union troops under Hamilton were unable to form an effective line and repulse the Confederate pickets like they should have been able to. Seeing this chance, Confederate General Price ordered Confederate General Henry Little and his division to attack Hamilton's forces. Unfortunately, as General Little received his orders, he was shot in the eye and died immediately. This delayed the Confederate reinforcements, and it was unfortunate as it appears if the Confederates had pushed under Little and not been delayed, they may have broken Hamilton's division right there. The Confederate troops under Brigadier General Lewis Hebert, however, did push forward on the 11th Ohio Battery, which comprised of the left flank of Hamilton's line. Hebert's troops reached Union lines and was twice repulsed. However, the third time was to charm and they took the position from the Ohio Battery. Meanwhile, the rest of the Union line held as best as it could, and by the end of the day, the Union troops had buckled but not broken, having been pushed back 600 yards from their original position. That evening, Union troops deployed their entire force in preparation for the next day, but Confederate General Price decided to withdraw instead. He had already planned on marching to meet Van Dorn, and staying at Iuka would be pointless. The resulting casualties were a total of 782 Union troops, consisting of 144 killed, 598 wounded, and 40 captured or missing. The Confederates lost 1,516 troops, consisting of 263 killed, 692 wounded, and 561 captured or missing. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.